Our programs are really innovative and creative, and um, I get to look like this and be the associate executive director. Mm -hmm. I don't know, that's kind of fun. Um, and, you know, I think that uh, we really think outside the box, and we are not your stereotypical youth-serving organization. It's beyond just kind of, you know, having girls here because they have nowhere else to go. It's, you know, it's, it's beyond kind of tutoring or homework help. Um, it's bringing in fascinating, amazing women to introduce to the girls um, in many different careers. I mean, whether they're activists or artists or pediatricians or engineers, um, I think we expose them to a lot. We do a lot of creative programs, so I think that you get to interact with the girls in kind of a different way. It's very hands-on, and you explore a whole host of really interesting topics together. I run the mentoring programs at the Girls Club pretty much since we were founded. Uh, we started off with our Museum Club mentoring program, so I've been able to witness the incredible bonds that are formed between the girl and her mentor. And actually, the benefits to both the girl and her, her mentor, and what both of them get out of the relationship that they establish. We use volunteers in our mentoring programs. That's our primary use of volunteers. And in our tutoring programs, we do mentoring programs every Saturday of the month. Um, and there's Museum Club, Crafty Chicas, and Culture Club. And volunteers get involved this way. They fill out our volunteer application, and we pair them with a girl that they mentor throughout the year um, and we meet you meet once a month with your mentee and you meet outside of the girls club as well um, museum club is our oldest running program it's been around since we started 15 years ago and we visit different museums in the city and then you go out to lunch with your mentee um, and the girls in that program are 13 to 18 years old and Crafty Chicas is a program for our little girls, and we do arts workshops here. We have different artists come in, and they lead a different workshop, a different craft, um, and that's for our 8 to 12 year olds. And then Culture Club is for volunteers who participate on our volunteer board called the Angel Alliance. Um, and Angel Alliance members commit to fundraising $1,500 a year for the Girls Club and for our programs. Um, and in Culture Club, we do different workshops, we go to see special museums, um, we do fire ranging classes, kind of a whole host of different things, kind of a mix of Crafty Chicas and Museum Club. We use volunteers to lead workshops, so throughout the week for all of our different programs, photography programs, we do classes on film um, and the environment, so we often ask volunteers to come in then if they're an expert in that area or they're just really passionate about it, to come in and speak with the girls. And that can be kind of a one-time thing, it can be a recurring workshop, um, kind of up to the volunteer. What do you look for in volunteers? Someone who's caring, uh, someone who has the time, someone who is dedicated, someone who understands that you know these girls need some consistency in their lives. And so if, if there is a mentor or a volunteer who does apply and is not sure of their schedule, then that's an absolute no. Um, because uh, for some of the girls, you know, they have had uh, adults kind of let them down and um, not really be there for them. And so I think it's incredibly important that this person dedicates the time and, um, and be emotionally stable, obviously. And again, be pas uh, passionate and compassionate. I really love and admire the women that I work with. And, you know, obviously seeing the girls every day is the reason that we're all here. Um, but I do think, for me, um, the mentoring programs are something that I, um, I'm really kind of touched by and I get to, you know, see firsthand um, how these relationships build. And, you know, I have girls who are, you know, off in college and some of them have even graduated college who are still in touch with their mentors. Um, so. That's something that's really special for me. We have a volunteer, her name's Rosie Rodriguez, and she got involved with the Girls Club last year as a Crafty Chicas mentor, and she loved the Girls Club so much, um, and her mentee so much that she decided to run the marathon for the Girls Club, so she raised $5,000 for the Girls Club, um, That and all of our money through our fundraising goes directly towards our programs. And then she just joined our board this, I think this winter. So she kind of 
recognized early on that she really wanted to be committed to this organization and kind of took her volunteer involvement up to the next level.